Hello everyone and welcome back to WAW Bandai Product and Figure Review. We are getting back into the flow of things. Uh, again, I do a whole bunch of different type of pop culture within the anime community and I just like doing this one as a particular series. So getting back into the groove of things for a lot of our Bandai Figure Reviews. Again, do take a look at the latest video from Anime Nebraska Music Video. Again, some big news. Uh, I got two big news. As of right now, I have a total of 165 subscribers, all thanks to you guys helping this channel grow. So let's see if we can get to that 200 mark and even 500 mark and even possibly that 1000 mark. So that's kind of my goal there is to get a thousand subscribers slowly chiseling away at it we are right now at 165 let's see if we can get to 200 close to maybe the end of the year um but eh, still second news is i have actually have to grab it real quick and that is this this is the first place for the 11th Gumpla World Builders Tournament. So one of my models actually got first place in that competition. Which I have currently displayed up on the very, very top shelf. I will show some pictures of that right over here of what that actually looks like with the award. So yeah, that is basically, and that competition was last Saturday. There was another one during Anime Nebraska, but I digress on that. So let's get into the meat of this video with those little news updates taken care of. And basically, we are going to be reviewing a model that I have actually been trying to get for about four months now. Every single time it pops up at my Hobby Town USA, it vanishes to the point where the only time I could actually find it was at an anime convention. This is a first since my uh, Macross um, models. So the you're wonder, probably wondering what model do I have to physically go and look through the vendors hall at an anime convention. And that is none other than the Aerial Rebuild. So this is... The latest for the Witch from Mercury um, aerial line. So this is the rebuild from Season 2, or we were hinted a little bit with it in Season 1. But this is the final variant of the aerial mobile suit, which is basically just called the aerial rebuild. So this is already looking like a beautiful art depiction on here again great great demonstration uh for the animation uh possibility on this side and even several things extra on here and as you can see it is still unwrapped so this is going to be a really cool unboxing so let's roll opening and take a look at the aerial rebuild Alright, before we get into the aerial rebuild, it's a great way of actually taking a look and getting a good comparison of what the heck is actually the difference, which I fortunately have both the original aerial Gundam and the aerial rebuild. So let's just look at the art real quick and just see the difference um with this unit so based off of the art depiction we have a lot more armor pieces that are on the the sides uh looks like we have a better blaster cannon it's similar but quite different uh compared to this it's a lot more sleeker on the original aerial compared to this one being a lot more bulky more chunky 
So, yeah, so there's going to be some very big similarities to this one, but there's going to be a lot more armor added on to the rebuild. So let us take a look at the rebuild itself. All right, let's take a look at the instruction manual. Again, they are in this nice... Um, Nice little rectangular format, so it's really nice, it's a pamphlet style. Again, this gives us a description of Saletta Mercury, who is the main heroine in the Mobile Suit Gundam that pilots this along with her AI sister. You have to watch the, the anime to understand, this is why I consider this anime almost Evangelion of Gundam. If you watch the series, you'll understand what I mean by that. But I digress, and let's t pop open the instruction manual. And again, it goes through step by step on what this model is. This is a high grade, so the build quality is going to be fairly decent. It gives us a really nice step by step order of how to assemble this, which doesn't look like it's too overly complicated. So, it's going to be a fairly well, uh, good build to do. As we can see, they come into two types of packaging for Saran Wrap. And based off of what I'm seeing, there are fairly good amount of uh, detail with these. So, let's take a look and open these up and just take a quick peek on what all the parts are. All right, so all together we have eight runners of different um, colors. First, we have these really cool PVC beam sabers. So these are always really cool to have and have a lot of because you can do so much cool things with them. And this is basically a transparent, flexible plastic. So I wouldn't necessarily bend them like I'm doing. I'm only doing it as a demonstration of how flexible they are so you could do a whole bunch of different things you want with that again the basic color scheme for the Gundam is uh, white so these are primarily for the chest units legs arms and various other shoulder and knee joints for this unit Moving on we have again more of the side armors legs Head, which it comes into two pieces of front and back and the iconic Gundam V with its own little thing we also have a few other colors that come with it but primarily it is a white scheme for its V and various other pieces like this is for its shield slash blaster and we have two beam saber holders and I believe yes they do actually have the uh, the holes for the beam sabers and then we have two hand gauntlets that go on now we're getting to the gray parts this is probably primarily going to be the inner frame um, hips joints uh, such as that we got the hands other pieces uh, we have a part for the head for the eyes which you could probably paint this section um, the gun metal for the blasters for the machine guns on its head and the uh, the eyes if you have the uh, the time to do the fine detail so again this is more for the joints next we have the yellow this is primarily for vents and various other fins that go with the aerial this is primarily for its um, I would have to look at the instructions again but these are basically for the vents for the knees and back for the boosters. Speaking of boosters and other parts, we are now on to the section that comprises majority of blue, which just basically has a top portion for the, the armor, for the front and back, um, the collar guard, and various other pieces on here that comprises of the boosters which are basically a front and back and yeah so this is fairly overall really nice molded very good panel line details on here so panel lining this is going to be pretty fun 
Lastly, we have the remaining ones, which we do have some uh, smoky clear parts. Uh, primarily, these are going to be used for the uh, activation version of it, and we have which are right here. So we will be able to put like our stickers, which we'll look at in a little bit. But we have we have the very smoky clear parts here. Then we have our blaster, which it comprises of several pieces for this particular one because we have a lot of added pieces from the shield um, that turns into the blaster. Then we have the eyes, which we can paint um, with a green metallic marker. And then we have the uh, red collar and various other pieces for, that would finish off this model kit. Next, we have these stickers. So let me zoom in on these for you guys. So, again, I'm not a big fan of stickers, but these are kind of cool. Uh, I tried to do a lot of these kinds of cool effects myself, but this is basically the Gundam Aerial sticker set where you can choose what color the eyes are going to be, what activation phase you would want it to be, uh, how the eyes actually look more angry, and various other uh, gimmicky um, ways of detailing this. A lot of these are pro I'm probably going to end up just using like a Gundam marker to paint like a lot of this white, a lot of this. Depending on what this is, I might end up recreating this particular pattern. But overall, the stickers are fairly well. It's nice and holographic. So this will save a lot of time and effort. This also comes with actual glass pieces, um, such as these here. So it gives us the same effect as what this is. So, yeah, so you, we have a couple of options for that. And so that is the unboxing for the Aerial Rebuild. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing for the Aerial. It's going to be kind of a quick video. Again, I didn't go into too much detail. Uh, I will probably do those kinds of videos uh, dealing with a lot more detail once they're actually built. So definitely look forward to those pre-built reviews on how well they were built. So these are just more of an unboxing kind of uh, example of you know, what comes inside the box. So overall, this looks like it's going to be a really good kit. I've already started working on the original Ariel, so I haven't finished that yet. So definitely look forward to the final uh, touch-up and uh, review build for the Ariel. Well, I have several other ones that I'm actually going to be doing for a kind of like a, a mini series that basically showcases a lot of the ones that I have already built and or possibly going to be building. So definitely look forward to those and I will hope to see you guys in the next episode and beyond.